Welcome to my video on how I painted the crows and corpse models for Resident Evil the board game by Steamforged Games. We will begin with how I painted the crows first. I primed the models using Chaos Black Spray. Since the crows are the main feature of the model, I think black is an appropriate choice for a base coat. Next, for the corpse, for the colors to stand out a little better, I painted a base coat of gray sear first. This corpse looks like this zombie from the base game, so I'm just going to use the same colors for its clothes. If you need a refresher on how I painted this model, please look at my previous video on how to paint the zombies. Next I use Flushed Terrors Red for all the blood effects. Make sure to get his guts as well as it appears he's lost the bottom half of his torso. Next, to bring out some detail, I coated the corpse with Null Oil. If you found yourself putting a little too much shade on it, you can just color over it with some base coat. But remember, the corpse isn't the main focus of this model, the crows are. For the crows, I'm going to give them a thin layer of Abaddon Black. This color will give the feathers a nice little shine, as opposed to the matte black from the spray. Next, to bring out the feather details, I did a dry brush of Dungeon Stone Gray. If you end up putting a little too much like I did, simply clean up with a thinned amount of a and black and try again. I stayed away from the beaks to let them stand out from the feathers. As you can see, I'm still a little new to dry brushing myself, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Also, if you dare, Use a bit of Mephiston Red to dot the eyes on the crows. It's a small detail, but it adds a lot to the model. Mine might not be perfect, but from far away, it looks great. And here are the crows. There's only two models, so this should be pretty easy to do. Like my other enemy bases, I based them with a bat in black and Mephiston Red. Next for the corpse tokens. These are really, really easy. First, I just primed them with gray sear spray. For their flesh, I used ivory tusk for a more pale and dead skin tone. Next, I used four different colors for the pants. Wyvern green, dust bowl, wolf gray, and cuirass leather. These corpses represent the zombies or crimson heads in the game, so I figured I might as well keep the same colors going. The green is a new addition that I felt overall went well with the color scheme. Next, just shade the models with some null oil to bring out those details and you'll be all set. You can stop here or you can add some blood effects if you wish. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more videos like these. Next up, I'll be showing you how I painted Yawn, so stay tuned.